underneath this Renault Master from the Southwestern Ambulance Service NHS. So, notably, or immediately I should suggest that most PTS ambulances, most ambulances have the, court, the, the floor chopped out here and a cheese wheel ramp is installed. And as a result, they have air suspension systems in here. They can be problematic with corrosion because they're cutting into the nice galvanized chassis and replacing it with not galvanized steel. Um, and the air suspension systems can be problematic. This, of course, is as sort of factory as it comes. This is the original leaf spring setup from the factory and this is the original chassis. So that's all looking good. So underneath it's looking really, really, really tidy. Of course, these bolts here and these bolts here, they're holding in the lift, which in most cases would be taken out, which I can get to at a later stage. Just your average running master, really. Really, really quite tidy. Tires, look, tires are looking really good on this one. There's your ABS side step. Fuel tank. That can't be the original exhaust. Yeah, I'd say that that's had an expensive upgrade. But yeah, the sills and everything the whole way down looking really good. In this box here, that's where the leisure battery is stored. In this box here, that's where the chassis battery is stored. There's the cables there going to the start motor, etc. There's the fuel cutoff in case the night eater, something happens with that. And where's the night eater? Night eater's here. So that, that gets, obviously the fuel goes to the fuel tank. That's where it gets its power from. It has a 12, 12 volt feed from the leisure battery here too. Quite unusual to see the undercarriage still on these. Yeah, this is looking nice. So on the external side of the sills, nice and straight, no bangs. So this is the places you really care about where they get damage. Um, <laughs> further up, it's not as important. Parking sensors, good spec. Going a bit further around it. Slightly inwards here, let's have a look. Yeah, that would probably pull out. Not that it's essential, to be honest with you. There's no corrosion, it's nice and solid. Yeah, nice example so far. Right, we're now on level one. We can uh, see what this van's about. So, We've got a 240 volt hookup there. That's the auto eject, which is used by the ambulance service. Easily changed over for a conventional caravan plug. That comes into the back, goes into this little breaker here, which supports the 240 volt plugs in the back, because it does have some. And it also goes into this charger, which converts the 240 volt power into 12 volts to charge the leisure battery and the chassis battery, which is on the other side. So looking a little bit further, you can see here, we've got an inverter system. This is the fuse box. This is the Genesis module. So that um, powers the lights, the diesel heater and stuff like that in the back. Nine times out of 10, people just take those out because they can be problematic and just put a separate switch for the diesel heater and lights. Cab area is looking quite nice. A couple of spare keys on here. Ooh. So, this is the satellite navigation version. So, we've got in cab air conditioning. All right, I'll just go ahead and start her up. So, get the Renault Tom Tom. That's the air conditioning for the rear. So yeah, in-cab air conditioning, rear air conditioning, 
six speed manual transmission. Seats are in nice condition. There's the parking sensors I was talking about earlier on. Turn that off. Electric mirrors, electric windows. Where the air conditioning comes out of. Here's the 240 volt socket, so you can either have that from hookup or supported by the 1500 watt inverter. There's the diesel heater control, here's the lights controls. Um, there's the actual location of the diesel heater, so the warm air comes out just here. These are stretch mounts, we will be removing these. Like everything else, these can be removed, this can be removed, the lift can be removed. Nice blinds on the back doors. It was blind throughout on this vehicle. You could potentially keep that seat in there. It stows away quite nicely. But yeah, not really much to this one. Skylight, extraction fan in the back. All the lovely stuff you get inside these ambulances. door that's just really flush. What a smart vehicle this is. There's a couple of dings here, just in the side. But I would say the bodywork overall is very, very good. I mean, there's not a mark on the rear doors. You'll have uh, some areas where the bodywork's gonna have been tickled, let's say. But yeah, overall, I'd say this vehicle's really straight. And compared to usual PTS vehicles, this one's got the 125 brake horsepower, so it's got plenty of uh, power. Right, hopefully this has been useful.